Hey everybody, my name is Rocco Despirito and I love City Life TV. I was always embarrassed to be um, the child of Italian immigrants because my parents didn't speak English. I spoke Italian until I was four at home. And uh, I used to hide my lunches. Yeah, so we had cubbies and I used to stuff my lunches all the way in the back of the cubbies and you know, weeks later they'd be rotting, you know, oh salami and homemade soprasada and homemade bread back there wrapped in tea towels. <laughs> and then it took me about 30 years to realize what a fool I was because I was just incredible. How lucky was I to have that wonderful heritage and to have a mother making food for me every day, baking bread. Uh, my uncle made the soap rosada that she put in that sandwich. You know, we didn't buy things like that. Restaurants were a four-letter word. They were a bad word in my family. So I was a little bit embarrassed. I don't think the kids made fun of me so much for the food. It's a dish of scallops, sea urchin, mustard oil, and tomato water. It's four ingredients that happen to perfectly represent the four flavors, sour, salt, sweet, bitter, and really come together beautifully as one new flavor. My first book is called Flavor, and it essentially explores what flavor is, how you know what good flavor is, how to, how to put flavors together. Her style of living is um, generally very joyful, you know, satisfied, content. Who's content? Nobody. Nobody's content. <laughs> this woman who's 86, who suffered tremendously through wars and debris, she's content? How's that possible? So yeah, that's a serious lesson to learn there, and I admire her for that, for sure, yeah. Uh, now eat this with me, it's now eat this with Rocco Despirito, I can't say that for some reason, um, is a show where I uh, challenge families to overcome you know, the issues they're facing with their health and their diets, and um, invite them to bring their children with them so we can attack the problems at a young age. Um, most of the families have medical issues like celiac disease or diabetes or obesity, and um, I create foods for them that are easy to make and uh, are reduced in calories, you know, that follow my guidelines of under 350 calories, no simple sugars, very little fat, and just try to encourage them to cook themselves, cook healthy food at home and, and redirect them uh, to the right place, the right path, you know. And um, I've become very passionate about uh, childhood obesity, and I'm also passionate about food security. You know, a lot of people are hungry in America. And uh, the knowledge I've learned about recreating dishes so that they're healthy and they still taste good is definitely something I want to share. I usually host the holidays. Um, my mom and I live very, very close to each other, so we usually host the holidays. And, uh, Everybody comes over, sometimes it's 60 people, you know, yeah. and um, last year I cooked healthy Italian, and I didn't even them? tell them, I didn't tell them, and they didn't know, it was really cool. Uh, I, did, I totally deceived them, manipulated them for my own gain, and they were very happy about it. So is it at your house this year too? Uh, yes. What do you yes. think, do you know? No, I don't know. A lot of seafood, Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day, some, some obscene seemingly big piece of meat, you know, and usual stuff. I don't really mess with tradition No. for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thanksgiving menu is perfect, yeah. So our tradition is, is all seafood for La Vigilia Natale, the seven yeah, yeah. seafood, seven dishes. Uh, and then the next day usually some meat or some, you know, sometimes a turkey, yeah. But I always try to include some healthy dishes. And now my family's asking for them. You think you got enough stuff?